Well, I have the pleasure to talk here with Dr. Alfred, and he's all, he was also a conductor, right? I'm still a conductor, yes. You're still a conductor. Yeah. Well, it's a great pleasure to have you here playing with us. It was great, the presentation with Villa Lobos, this great Brazilian guy. So tell us a little bit what you like most about Villa Lobos. Everything. Everything. This man, you know in the Samba Classico, he has these words, é feliz quem vive nesta terra santa, que não elege raça, nem prefere crença. That's so important. It is important for the entire world today. And you know, he addressed the United Nations to ask for world peace through music. And you know what he told Getulio Vargas? I can bring our be people better together with my music than you can with your soldiers. And I believe so. Uh, he was, I believe, honestly, and I've won debates on this, that he was the most important composer since Beethoven. But his crime was being born in the Western Hemisphere. You see, this man was an innovator. He was an eclectic, both. He created forms. He took the choros, the chorinho music, and he turned it into great big pieces. And uh, like the choros number 10 launched him in Paris in December 1927. And also, what, what else can I say? It goes on and on and on. Uh, he liked young people. He liked to develop people. He didn't like phonies. He was a practical joker. He played his jokes on everybody, including Andrei Segovia, which I was the butt of that one as well, as Segovia, that joke. He, uh, you must know the famous story about him when he was being interviewed in New York about Mandu Sarara and, the, and he said and I used uh, music of Indian music of great antiquity which the present generation of Indians no longer know so one wise guy reporter said well Mr. Vila Lobos if the present generation of Indians no longer don't know this how did you learn it he said oh that's very easy I learned it from the parrots. You see, Brazilian parrots are the most intelligent parrots in the world, and they passed these songs down from generation to generation, and they taught them to me. That's how I learned that music. When he died in 1959, he was the most famous composer in the world in a crossover classical style. And in the classical aspect, he was beyond Stravinsky. Angel Records had him recording one LP after another of his music. That album is now out, and it's called Villa Lobos Padre Mem, and it has six CDs in it. Uh, it, 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 it. It expands. The miracles of Villa Lobos expand. They're vast. They don't. It's not that. Oh well, this is mediocre. That's mediocre. No, they expand. I can say that the music is inside your veins, right? You can almost breathe the music. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, and I see that your son is following you. So how can you say about your son now being this great opera singer? Well, so far he's sung on five different continents. He's missed Antarctica and Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Doctor, it was a great pleasure to meet you here. Thank you very oh, much for making... Let me say one more thing to, yes, as a course, stage father. Anything. He's singing Radhamis in Aida at Royal Albert Hall in February in, February. in London. Oh, that's great. Anyway, so now I'm finished bragging about my son. Yes. <laughs> so if, I guess you should be very proud to see your son. Yes like working together with you and I asked him so how old were you when you start singing and he said oh I think that I was probably six months <laughs> but you know when he was born most children babies say mama mama right he said la 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 like a singer <laughs> I bet and I have recordings to prove that you do yes 
Well, I don't doubt it. So anyway, thank you very much. Congratulations you for, for the, the wonderful music. And thank you for making Villa Lobos unforgettable because it's people like you who pass this to generation to another one. Well, I, I hope so. I don't know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank, thank you. You're, you're a very sweet lady. Oh, thank you. And wonderful interviewer. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, I hope to meet you again in another Brazilian event. I hope so. Yes, In this right? life, too. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay.